In this video, we are going to show you the best camping hatchets in the marketplace. We have selected them based on their quality, performance, and price. We have done a lot of deep research to find the best product for all budgets. If you're trying to find out which camping hatchets is the best here is the video for you to stay with the video till last. After watching this video you can simply pick the right one. Check the description for links to find out the price of the items included in this video. So let's start. At the first position of our list, we have S-Wing 14-inch Sportsman's Axe. S-Wing is a company that's well known for making some of the highest quality hammers and axes at a reasonable price. This axe here is good for pretty much all chopping and camping applications. It's also a very popular throwing axe because it's made from one piece of steel. The balance of the axe is great, and it fits really well in the hand, and the leather really adds a nice touch. The thing about hatchets and knives that are made in a large factory is that you will encounter some things that you wouldn't if you bought handmade products. This isn't a knock against the hatchet itself, but don't handmade craftsmanship from an axe that is mass-produced. There may be some dents and chips on the blade or handle. Overall, it's a solid hatchet that's made in the USA and sold at an affordable price. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Husqvarna 19-inch Carpenter Axe. It is nice to see a larger company execute so well on a handmade product. This hatchet is made out of Swedish steel, which means it is made from higher quality iron ore than what we are used to in the United States. The Swedes have been known worldwide for making great steel and have done a pretty good job of hiding their secrets. Just know this axe head is made of a high carbon steel that retains an edge extremely well. Oh man, I love that the people who made this left the mill scale on the head. This not only gives it an antique look, but it is an extremely good corrosion barrier. So, they have really helped you out by making maintenance a little easier for you but you will still need to keep the edge clean and oiled. The number 3 position is held by Schrade Skaxit in 11 inch. This is a great hatchet to just have for light use. It is very durable on the hull and very easy to use. The rubber handle makes it very comfortable and since it is a full tang hatchet, you never have to worry about the axe head flying off. Being stainless steel, you can't expect it to hold an edge as well as a high carbon hatchet, but you can easily sharpen it in no time. I love the simple design. The designer really went with the basics here and for less than $25 you can't get much better. Next at number 4 we have Off-Grid Tool Survival Axe. One of the most useful features on this hatchet is the replaceable saw blade. That's right, replaceable. I haven't seen many other hatchets that incorporate a saw blade that isn't built into a handle. Like the Gerber Gator, the saw is super sharp and useful. You never realize how much you can use a saw blade in the bush until you take one with you. And since you can swap the blade for a new one, you never have to worry about losing functionality. All you have to do is run to your local home store and purchase whatever 6-inch blade you can find that fits any reciprocating saw. The number 5 position is held by Grantsfors Brook Wildlife Hatchet. The Grantsfors Brook Wildlife Hatchet is an extremely durable hatchet. The axe head is the traditional shape and even has the mill scale on it still. This means less head upkeep as this mill scale is a great protectant. I usually like a little more weight to my axe because it just makes life easier when you are trying to handle heavier chunks of wood. It still gets the job done well but is not as suited for felling trees as the council tool axe is. The folks that made this axe know how important it is to have a quality sheet slash mask and they delivered a great handmade product that perfectly fits the head and isn't too bulky. The back of the axe is slightly convex so hammering something does take a little accuracy and practice. The number 6 position is dominated by Gerber Gator Combo Axe. I don't typically like any of the composite handles, but Gerber did a pretty good job with this one. It seems pretty stout and didn't give me any reason to doubt it would last a while. If you want something you can always depend on, I would stick with an all-steel construction or hickory handle. The saw blade is a very nice addition but with a lot of chopping, it won't want to stay in the handle. You end up just removing it and leaving it on the ground. This is another one of those axes that are highly reviewed but something I wouldn't use much. The saw blade is actually really effective. It might be quicker to saw through the material than using the hatchet. It also seems like it will last a long time and stay sharp. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Gerber Pack Hatchet. For a compact hatchet, you don't get much better than this. Gerber has always made great products, and this little guy really pumps me up. It is small and light enough to not really notice but it is an extremely powerful tool. I know it may be small for some, but this little guy can be carried in a cargo pocket if you have to. It is sharp and heavy enough to cut through trees of several inch diameter trunks with just a little work. The finger notches in the handle give you great blade control for when you need it, and the rubber grip gives you confidence and shock absorption. I love the lanyard loop on the end. If you want it to be safe, add some parachute cord and wrap it around your wrist. 
The fact that the lanyard loop protrudes from the handle acts as a handle knob found on most larger axes. This is great because you can place two fingers on each side of the loop and effectively choke down to give you more swinging power. The number 8 position is held by Gerber Downrange Tomahawk. Gerber outdid themselves with this weapon. No house is safe when you wield this thing. It has a pry bar on the knob and a handle built into the head. So you don't have to awkwardly fumble with finding a good grip when you are breaking a door off of its hinges. When prying won't do the job just flip the axe head over and bludgeon your target with the hammer head. This hatchet is just great for angrily beating on things. If you are in the military or law enforcement, nothing is going to stop you with this thing in your hand. I really like the sheath that comes with this. It is easily attached to your gear if you have maul loops. This comes in handy since wearing a plate carrier or flak jacket will make wearing something on your belt a literal pain in your side. Next at number 9 we have Sog Camp Axe. The Sog Camp Axe has a great balance between utility and looks. It is well balanced and feels really comfortable when you use it for a while. The stainless steel head is great for keeping rust at bay. When you flip the axe over, you can use it as a hammer. Most axes and hatchets can be used this way but Sog basically added a hammer to the back of the blade. This axe feels pretty sturdy until you use it for a while. The problem with the Sog two-piece construction is they use two bolts to fasten the half to the head. Because of this, they work their way loose, make the axe unstable. The sheath is pretty much worthless so you are better off finding a sheath that will fit it. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Sog Tactical Tomahawk. All I have to say is man, this thing cuts through wood like butter. For hatchet that is so light it really surprised me. The blade edge is flat so it is great for squaring things up and the spike on the other side can easily penetrate whatever your intended object is. It comes with a nylon sheath that serves the purpose well and is easy to get in and out in comparison to other axes and sheaths on the list. It should be pretty clear by now that hatchets and axes made out of composite handles just aren't as reliable as hickory or steel handles. Composites can make great handles, but how you attach them is the key. That's all for today. If you've already used any of these products, do let us know by commenting below. It will help others to a worthy buy. Thanks for watching.